welcome you to this practice prepper and I'm here at Yellowstone at the Sulphur Cauldron, also known as the Anus of the Earth. Hey everybody, this is Praxis, and yes, like I said in the opening of the video, I'm at Yellowstone National Park with my family. We've had a great time here for the past couple days. I know I've done videos uh, specifically on Yellowstone and how there is a potential in the possibly near future that there could be a catastrophic uh, eruption, but, you know, just because something's dangerous doesn't mean you have to live in fear of it. We came here anyway. I think it's a calculated risk, and so far, it's paid off. Now I could get home and then say, you know, see, there was no danger, you know, we didn't die. You know, just because you survive something doesn't mean that it's not dangerous, you know. You could blindfold yourself and walk across a highway, get to the other side, and then, you know, make fun of all your friends that said you were crazy and say, like, oh, see, you know, I didn't die, so <laughs> it must have been any danger. You know, yeah, there's some danger in coming here, but, you know, life isn't about trying to avoid every possible danger in the world. Even as a prepper, you know, you can do things that are potentially hazardous to your health. That's fine, you know, it's... Uh, you got to get out and live life. So we've been living life the past uh, several days here. Had a great time. My boy's never been here before. I've been here four or five times. I think it's great. If you've never been to Yellowstone, I'd highly recommend it. It is the only place on the entire planet Earth like this. It's wonderful with all the thermal features and bison everywhere. The weather's been kind of crazy, and I know the weather here can be crazy. You know, there have been days where, you know, you're hot and sweating, and then the next day, actually, well, this morning, it was 33 degrees and snowing, you know, as we were, we were driving around. Uh, overall, though, we packed pretty well. I, we didn't drive out here. I normally like doing camping and you know, driving to a location because you can get all your stuff. You know, all my, you know, I've done other videos. Here's a, here's a link to that video uh, where I kind of do camping and my bug out stuff is kind of the same. I have a modular bag system and I love being able to bring that whenever I go camping because I've got everything. Uh, we flew here because my sister was getting married and, you know, just the, with the time frames and everything, just had to fly. So all I really brought was my EDC pack and then, you know, you know, suitcase full of clothes. And I ended up forgetting my hat. I had to buy a hat when I came out here. These are great hats. This is made by Minnetonka. Uh, kind of a western broad-brimmed hat. I'm not wearing it during the video because it shades my face, which is its job, and it makes it so you can't see me. I think it's better if you can see the face of the person talking in a video. But if you're ever looking for a nice broad-brimmed hat, these are really great. If you uh, want to get one, I'd recommend getting one a size larger so it looks giant and dumpy on your head. And then what you do is just soak it in water, get it really, get it really saturated, and then put it in a a hot dry environment let it dry that shrinks it down and then it, it fits you if you buy it exactly the right size if it ever gets wet and then it dries then it's too small for you and I made that mistake so Minnetonka hats these leather guys always get them a size big wet them dry them then they fit your head uh, that's the only thing that I forgot otherwise we did pretty good on this trip and like I said we we're having a really great time there's risks in all of life, I mean, there could be a grizzly bear coming out of the woods behind me over here, or a bison, or anything else. Uh, but, you know, life isn't about avoiding every possible risk in the world. You know, you got to get out and live your life, and ultimately, we're all going to die some way. So, what's important is how you live your life. So that's it. If you've never come to Yellowstone, definitely think about checking it out. Wonderful, wonderful place to bring your family. Even if you have limited mobility, the whole park is paved, and, you know, there's walkways everywhere and everything like that. I mean, you can do backwoods camping here, but you can enjoy awful lot of the park. You know, if, even if you're in a wheelchair, you can see, you know, the majority of the park. Beautiful, beautiful place. Highly recommend it. That's it. Thanks for watching. And if you're seeing this video, it means I survived this trip. The, I was able to edit the video. The volcano didn't explode. So plan on seeing more on this channel in the near future. That's it. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and tune in every Friday at 4.30 New York time for a new video. And if you'd like to support this channel, you can do so both through Patreon or PayPal.